Okay, welcome back to the channel, Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia. Let's go on with our Sin, Substance and Sex, Sinful Nature series. Um, thank you for joining me again. Um, let's go. We left off with deceitful scheming and uh, dark triad injury that can come from the being tossed to and fro and carried about through triangulation. You'll find that these sinful nature people, they're infantile, okay? And they shouldn't be. They've had no excuse to be infantile. They've made the wrong choices in life. And now as adults and old adults, these people get very bitter um, nasty and twisted um, <clears throat> when things don't go their way as they get older they continue to make the wrong choices um, harming themselves and the people around them uh, being tossed about because they have a element of self-awareness missing um, they are deceiving and scheming they need to program their life around the income for the substances and sex <clears throat> um, mainly the substances um, they get deceived by clever cunning in people um, they're very naive they're very ignorant as clever as they think they are and life just tosses them about like a wave coming on through their lives and that's what um, our sinful nature does. It wants people to be stuck in addiction. <clears throat> it wants people to be um, trapped in their, in their sin. And they listen to everything they're told. For the Christian, they're to listen to the things of Christ. But for these people, they reject Christ. They just can't comprehend who he is, what he's about. And many of them have... An have um, ancestors that were Christians um, but they just can't comprehend who he is what he's about and their pathology their um, their trait characteristic traits their micro incremental dark characteristic traits have them tossed about by the waves of life and they're carried around by every wind, every spirit, see? They're just misled and let down. And the people around them that they care about and put their life into outside their relationship um, just drain them like a wave coming in onto the sand and taking the sand back out, but not redepositing, redepositing it. And we see... The mental injuries that this causes through them thinking that this they're, they're clever but see deceitful scheming people deceive and scheme against themselves and they're not as clever as they think as a matter of fact many of these people are just plain straight out naive especially when they're dealing with their own kind you'll see their children deceiving them and taking money from them and not paying them back and convincing them to serve them and um, they'll get in with the wrong people and they'll lose large amounts of money and they just just don't get it right. Um, their truth can often be a delusion. Um, this is the answer for the sinful nature working inside people. They make up fantasies in their manic state and then they pull down the fantasies in their depressive state and their truth is one of brokenness there's nothing supporting the ligaments of their minds there's nothing supporting the ligaments um, that are that are working in their emotions and their body i don't mean physical as it were but the sinews and the tendons of their mind and emotions and spirit they're just flailing they're just the fabrics of them are coming apart. Nothing's growing and building in love. It's all deceitful scheming. It's all emotional, emotionally fueled. 
Um, <clears throat> sorry. A lot of these people live for the moment in depression. Um, the, if you're living in the tribe where these people house themselves, it'll all be run on emotions and false um, representations of how they feel. They'll be sulking. Brings us back to the infantile part again. Everything's founded on an infantile mentality because that gives way to the martyrdom, the perpetual victim aspects of this, which gives them excuses for when they fail. It gives them excuses for when they fail because they're going to fail. They just are because they, there's nothing holding them up. They're not growing towards anything except their emotionalism amongst one another. Now, <clears throat> if we go on, now you might say, well, why can't they build themselves up in love? Well, look at the fruit around their lives. Look at the fruit of their lives. What are they really standing for? Are they standing for, you've got to ask yourself, are they standing for the benefit of each other? Or are they just clustered together to um, fuel their substance, substances, to fuel their addictions? <clears throat> so the writer goes on, So I tell you this, and insist on it in the Lord, that you must no longer walk as the Gentiles do. Now that's an illustration of what they are up above. They're paranoid, they're insecure. They hide away, they come out in public only to make money or find sex. Um, and they're in futility. They're, see, this is, ladies and gentlemen, look, futility of, think, of their thinking. Their thinking is futile. You've got to understand this. Those of you that are in the, into the narcissist, take all this for your talks. It's here in the Word. The Gentiles, these people that live in their carnal nature, that are infantile, they're also futile. I've seen it with my own two eyes. I've watched them destroy perfect relationships. Now, futility of thinking, right, is big because it can speak of delusion, fantasy. I've had a couple of situations where people have tried to drag me into their delusions and I just haven't bought into it. Um, because if you buy into a delusion, a, an untruth, a vanity, um, an ineffective way of trying to... See, the carnal nature wants to shame you and make you meaningless, demasculinize you or defeminize you. Um, if you buy into it, then it will get you. The carnal nature wants to hang you and slay you psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, and physically is the ultimate one where these people will kill it. Some people will kill you. Um, I've had girlfriends that have been brutally um, bashed by people. Um, and I've heard of instances and known instances where women have attacked men. And this is, this is the futility of their thinking, the desperateness the deviancy of it, the delu I'm telling you, these people and their delusions, if you buy into their delusions, you are going to get into trouble because that's what they want. Their thinking is futile. They're darkened in their understanding, you see. They've got no understanding. They haven't got a clear mind. They're, they're up to their neck in substances. They're... Um, frontal lobes not working properly in their mind um, they've got mental health issues and they keep having to use the substance to push these issues back i'm telling you you don't know this when you meet these people and you can care for them and love them but they're just gonna they're just gonna crash all around you because their thinking is futile they're darkened in their understanding and they're alienated from the life of God, from the mind of God. Okay? They're alienated from it. They're separated from it. They're in enmity to it. Um, in the spirit, they're spiritually misled. 
which filters up into everything else they have. Because, because of what? Here we go. Because of their ignorance. And this is why they're so vulnerable to being deceived. While they think they're running around scheming and deceiving people, they're completely ignorant. I've watched it with my own two eyes. I've watched these people, these girls, these women, old women, that have ruined most of their lives on their sex and their substances. They've picked the wrong partners and they've been with the wrong men and spent decades doing it. <clears throat> I've watched them <laughs> going along thinking, like, does this person know what they're doing? And some of them I've asked about their children, does this person know what they're doing and I should have realized the children mimic the parents the children copy the parents look at the children and you'll see the parent if you use your discernment and I've said to these women I said does your do they know it? like the behavior was just atrocious absolutely scandalous do they know what they're doing I don't know the parent would say I don't know but they did know you know why they said they don't know? Because they knew the child was mimicking them. And that's the last thing they want you to know. And these can be adult children. I'm telling you, I've seen grown adult young men and women acting like complete fools. Dangerous, desperate, um, completely dark and futile fools. As if you can't tell like what they're doing and what they're it, it oh my god you know it's just wicked and dark evil and ignorant they're completely utterly ignorant of themselves they're unaware of themselves i'm telling you you know what ignorance means it's a willful neglect or refusal to acquire knowledge which one may acquire and it is his duty to have that's from the unabridged Webster's Revised Dictionary. The condition of being ignorant, the want of knowledge in general or in relation to a particular subject, the state of being uneducated or uninformed. And these people are ignorant by nature. By nature. They're amateurish, infantile, okay? They should have matured, but their thinking is infantile. They, they, they just haven't acquired the knowledge that they need to um, be competent in the things of the Spirit. That's why they get deceived. That's why they end in, up in bed with people that they wish they hadn't. That's why they end up with mental injuries emotional injuries, narcissistic injuries, trauma bonds, um, uh, neuro problems in their systems from their sexual activities and the way in which they hammer away at their minds and their brains with substances and alcohol and medications. Their understanding is darkened. They're alienated from the life of God. They're alienated from the health and the healing and the help of the Holy Spirit. They've chosen that. Jesus is standing there with his arm. I have had these people in my life and watched them start to heal, to, to triangulate in front of me, to triangulate in front of me and bring people into the relationship that have completely destroyed it in front of them and they've had no awareness of what it's done to the relationship. This is the ignorance of these people, these dark triad people. As cunning as they think they are, they get taken out very easily, very easily if you've got your wits about you. and the ignorance that is in them due to the hardness of their hearts. Now, <clears throat> I didn't see this coming, but this is very, very important, viewers. Listen carefully to this. Now, this is coming from the Bible. The hardness of their hearts. Now, 
For those of you that are into narcissists and all this stuff, let me tell you, these people are some of the most resentful, grudge-holding monsters, passive-aggressive monsters that you could ever meet. They don't share their grievances. They don't tell you what is wrong with them towards you. And all of a sudden, everything goes quiet. And they punish you psychologically through what? Silence. Now, this hardening of the heart in these people for the passive-aggressive kinds, which are the most dangerous covert kinds. They're evasive, they're obstructive, they'll block, they'll procrastinate, they'll stonewall. You'll find they can be elusive. Um, they'll dig their heels in and they will not move. The resentment and bitterness which they harbor in their hearts, right, is of the most lethal and damaging kind that can be placed upon a person that is trying to agree, benefit that person, comfort and ease that person for resolve and solution and secure. And by the time they're finished with you, your trust is rattled. Um, everything's sort of half done or undone. There's resistance instead of assistance. There's no benefit or comfort to anyone. It's crippling and mind-blowing. They've lost their sense of shame, which means their conscience towards their partner is null and void. They have given themselves over to sensuality. There is the sex, the um, careless reckless sex which they have and they'll practice every kind of sex threesomes um, all sorts of uh, sexual activities which is not something for me to go into but these things are really the base and it leaves them guess what with a craving for more they they are insatiable sexually so don't worry about what your ex-partner's doing if they're one of these, because guess what they're doing? They're probably having sex with somebody else, but that's not to your disadvantage. They're destroying themselves, the scripture's showing you. See, but this is not the way you came to know Christ, right? You have to approach Christ from a completely different way to this. And surely you heard of him and were taught in him in keeping with the truth that is in Jesus. And the truth is um, to be caring and to be loving and to be available and to be there. Okay, and the difference is you put off your former way of life, your old self. These people never find a way away from their old self, which is being, and this is what I talk about, decomposition which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires. And the deceitful desires never, ever, ever <clears throat> stop misleading them. And these people burn out, wear out, mentally, physically and emotionally, and they lose their minds because they're not being renewed in the spirit of their minds like the Christians. They can't understand how you keep going. How can you, how can you walk away from me and be so sound of mind? Because I was self-aware. Because I was watching what was going on and it wasn't adding up. And I put on the new self, created to be like God, in true righteousness and holiness. Well, guess what? Look, you know what they go away and do, guys? Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood. They're in falsehood and they're speaking lies. They're speaking lies. You have to reverse it. They're speaking lies to everybody that they can tell. And they're angry. 
but we're not to be angry. We can be angry, but do not sin, right? And do not let the sun go down upon your anger. You resolve. See, these people, this is the whole problem. This is why you've split up with them. They're unable to resolve. And guess what they do? They give the devil a foothold. This is from the scriptures, guys. This is from the Lord himself trying to help us. Pray for these people, man. They are getting smashed. They're futile. They're in the dark. They're alienated from God. They're ignorant. They've lost their sense of shame. They're practicing every kind of evil desire in the bedroom. And they get, cannot. It's insatiable. They're never satisfied. Never, ever satisfied. They just get used and abused and and ruined. You, you're probably wondering, what, what did they go on to something? No, there's nothing better. And it won't be better. They're being lied to. They're being misled by deceit. They are not making the right decisions. They're not going to get anywhere in life. And their spirit is going to grow old before it's time. They're unholy, unrighteous, and they're speaking falsehoods down here and lies about you. They've got the smear campaigns going. You never knew. They were doing that before you went. They're in anger, and the devil's got a foothold in their life. This is Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist. Pray for these people. Bye for now.